Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video the thumbs up. I can see Brooke getting psyched about Monaco on the Forester jet. Ridge is also disappointed that Steffi missed the flight since she forgot her passport. He gets an assurance from Brooke that they'll make the most of it and enjoy themselves immensely. They talk about how they were eager for Steffi because of their meeting with the prince. Brooke is confident that she will utilize her time in Los Angeles well. They giggle as Brooke tells Ridge that although they will work too, this is their particular little escape. Ridge believes she will become a global sensation. I can't wait, squeals Brooke. Here we come, Monaco. Steffi and Finn share a kiss at Forrester. Though he is remorseful for what transpired, he is merely glad to be holding her. Hope waits at the door, listens, then steps in. She informs Finn that Steffi is once more threatening to stop supporting Hope for the future with funding. Hope is upset when Steffi being singled out for attention. Steffi argues she shouldn't have to take care of mom, it's her responsibility to keep the lights on. The past two quarters have shown declining numbers, with numerous losses. Although Finn acknowledges that it's outside of his area of expertise and that Steffi would undoubtedly make the best choice for the business, he can understand how it might upset Hope. Poppy is inconsolable over the scene with Will at Bill's house. Bill claims that his son will ultimately become calm. Luna didn't try to cause any difficulty, but she feels horrible too. Bill gives her a hug. He assures them that they did nothing improper and that Will's actions were inappropriate. They are aware that he has a lot on his plate. Bill contends that they are members of this family, not strangers. Poppy and Luna decide to visit the flat since they need to finish packing before the structure is torn down. Bill nods grudgingly. Poppy restates how totally he has changed their lives. Will surprises Katie with roses at the door of the design office. She gives him a hug and exclaims how relieved she is that he's back home. After dragging him inside, Katie scolds him for failing to call his mother. Will desired to take her by surprise. She claims that she really missed him. I missed you too, Ma, he scolds. Katie comments on the bouquet. Will claims that while traveling from his father's house, he picked them up. Katie finds out that things didn't work out. He was not alone himself in bed. To make matters worse, his new daughter entered the room and addressed him as dad. Who are these newcomers living in their home and taking over their family? Katie wishes Will's father had given him a better welcome home. Will was unaware that Luna was essentially living there with her mother. According to Katie, Poppy feels completely at home. Will wonders why, after all these years, she has emerged from the shadows with a daughter. You constantly have to deal with something from dad. He will always remember the disdain he once showed her. Katie tells her kid that everything is well. She does not want him to have a negative opinion of his father. Will is relieved that he is now taking parental leave. Admittedly, Katie is also full of questions, particularly regarding Poppy. Sheila tells Deacon she's glad to be back at Il Giardino with her attractive husband. They can now concentrate on what actually transpired. She is beginning to believe that he is correct and that the deaths were not accidental. Sheila finds herself ruminating on her most recent interaction with Hollis. He was convinced he had discovered a clue to what had transpired when he discovered Tom's backpack. He was attempting to tell her something essential, but she dismissed him. There might have been something she could have done to stop Hollis from being a victim if she had peeked inside the backpack. She had no idea that the backpack might contain murderous proof. Something alerted her to the possibility that the narcotics in the bag were the smoking gun that would have helped them find the murderer. She enters Poppy's apartment's bedroom to get a few items. Luna goes into the living area to find her laptop. She spots Tom's black backpack behind the couch. Luna B and B Finn believes that Hope and Steffi at Forrester share the same goals for the business. No, Hope wants what's best for Hope, replies Steffi. Steffi, that's crazy, exclaims Hope. Simply put, you find it difficult to endorse anything Logan-related. 
Finn inquires as to whether hope for the future could require some time to heal following Thomas's leaving. Hope mentions that Steffi made that happen. Steffi acknowledges that the statement needs to be retracted but doesn't indicate they're going to remove it. Return the favor. Brooke and Ridge drive a sports automobile up to a casino in Monte Carlo. I'm all in betting on you, Logan, he muses. Oh, Ridge, she chuckles. Will says to his mother in the design office that he misses his family and his home. He intended to study overseas, but Katie teases that she wanted to get him home sooner. Although Will claims it was an amazing experience, he is now wanting to stay. Katie assures him that her love for him is greater than everything. With Luna and Poppy in his life, Will is beginning to have doubts about his father. Katie gives him a hug while crying uncontrollably. Luna looks through Poppy's backpack in her apartment and discovers the package of letters that have been returned and are meant for her mother. She cracks open one and starts to read. She discovers with shock that the man is claiming to be her father. He wants to know his daughter, she reads in another. Luna never stops reading and opening new letters. It's so difficult to spend the holidays apart from my daughter. Poppy shows up and inquires as to her activities. These are letters from Tom Star to you, Luna exclaims. He claims to be my father in a rucksack full of letters. Why does she own Tom's backpack? Poppy wonders. There, Luna discovered it. If her mother was aware of this, she queries. Poppy claims to have read them years ago, although he was a stalker and drug addict. She returned them. Luna exclaims, or that's what everyone thinks implying that Tom Starr is the man who overdosed on drugs and died at Il Giardino. Poppy queries her words. Was Katie correct about you? Yells Luna. Have you murdered Tom Starr? Steffi tells Finn she received a text from her father at the Forrester office. They arrived in Monte Carlo earlier than expected. Finn is aware that she wishes she could attend. Hope is certain that they are being mesmerized by Monte Carlo's splendor. Hope complains that Steffi is targeting her personally. Steffi says it's her job to keep the lights on. She shouldn't need to baby her. The last consecutive quarter the numbers have been going down. We've had many losses. Finn says it's not his field of expertise and there's no question Steffi will make the right decision for the company. But he does see how it would be upsetting for Hope. At Bill's place, Poppy agonizes over the scene with Will. Bill says his son will cool off eventually. Luna feels bad too and didn't mean to cause any trouble. Bill hugs her. He tells them they did nothing wrong and that Will shouldn't have behaved that way. They know it's a lot for him to deal with. Bill argues they're not strangers, they're part of this family. Poppy and Luna decide they should go over to the apartment. They have some packing to do before the building gets demolished. Bill reluctantly agrees. Poppy reiterates that he's completely transformed their lives. In the design office, Will surprises Katie with flowers at the door. She embraces him and gushes that she's so happy to see him and so glad he's home. Katie drags him inside and chastises him for not calling his mother. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed the bold and the beautiful, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below with your thoughts. What do you think will happen next? We love hearing from you.